So my favorite laser diode is this X-Tool D1. They've made three big improvements to make this thing even better. I wanna let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. You can stand out with an awesome website. You can build your brand and you can sell your products so that you can build a business online. Now, I've talked in depth about the stats of this machine in the past. There's a review linked right up there if you wanna check it out. But my overall takeaway of this machine was just the overall build quality. This thing is really nice. It's a lot of sheet metal. The laser module is great. It's got a really, really big work area even compared to some of the other machines. And one of my favorite features is actually this little guy right here, it drops down and then you can drop it onto your workpiece. And at that point, you know when you have the right focus distance. But there were a few drawbacks to this machine when I first reviewed it and the biggest was the software. So it comes with its own MakeBlock basic software, which is a scaled down version of just the normal MakeBlock software that they use to power their bigger CO2 machine. And the software is fine, it's pretty easy to use and you're gonna be able to do most of the things that you need to do. But with any of my lasers, I really like to use Lightburn. You've heard me talk about Lightburn a ton in the past and the fact this didn't support it was one of my biggest drawbacks of this machine. But about a month after that, they actually announced that they were going to support Lightburn. So the first big improvement they've made to the machine is that Lightburn support. And for the most part, Lightburn is pretty easy to use. Xtool actually has their own profile and you can just import that directly into the software. Then you can use all of its functions. When you see me do all of these test files, like this one that I just did with this machine that we'll get into here in a minute, I am doing that with some features specifically inside of Lightburn. It's just a full fledged application. It can do all kinds of stuff. You can set up multiple machines with it. You can hook up a camera for it. There's tons of support. There's a big forum. Lightburn is great. Now, the second big drawback to this machine originally was the fact it didn't support any air assist, especially when you're using the bigger 10 watt module. So they have a 5 watt and a 10 watt and a soon to be 20 watt, which we're gonna check out very soon. But when you're getting into those higher wattages, you're gonna deal with a lot of charring. So as this is engraving, especially with wood, you're gonna be burning the edges. And you can see, especially right there, you can see all of that charring that is underneath the test. Now you can help address that by adjusting your speed as well as your power so you can run it faster and you can drop your power down. But especially when you're wanting to cut, you're gonna get charring. And to help address that, they've actually added this air assist kit. And all it is is a nozzle that inserts just like this on the bottom with a tube that screws into the side and this is hooked up to a compressor that shoots compressed air through that nozzle. Now the air assist helps in a couple different ways. First is with the charring like we just talked about, but second is if you have any flare-ups or any flames, you always have a constant stream of air that is putting this out. Now it's not gonna be as high quality as the air assist you might get on bigger CO2 lasers. This still kind of has the air shooting into the side versus some of the bigger machines will have it shooting directly down and kind of around the laser beam, but this is way better than nothing. And in fact, this is probably my favorite part of the whole setup. Now you can definitely get some aftermarket air assist. And in fact, the air assist that you'd get with a 40 watt CO2 machine or even a 50 watt, is gonna come with just a pretty generic compressor. And my biggest gripe about those compressors, it just vibrates all over the place. There's no dampening on it. Um, you have to either bolt it down or just like move it around as it kind of dances around your workshop. This one is super nice because it actually has these like little rubber feet. And I don't know why these aren't included on everything. It dampens all the vibration and you can just have it sitting and it's gonna stay in one spot. That is awesome. And that compressor, as well as all the hosing and the connections that comes with their laser kit that you can buy as an add-on. Now this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Now let's say you're using this laser to actually produce products that you can sell, Squarespace is going to be a great solution for you. Squarespace is what I used originally when I was actually selling products online and it was super simple. I actually bought my domain makerbreakshop.com through it and then I was able to create galleries of images of my products so that I could sell them through its integrated store. And even when I made some sales locally, I was able to integrate that even at like craft fairs and stuff, it was super easy. So you can head over to squarespace.com and sign up for a free trial and you can start playing playing around, setting things up. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com forward slash make or break shop and save 10% on a website or domain. All right, let's get back into the review. And then the other improvement they've made is this guy down here, if I can get it out, is a honeycomb board. And you're gonna need something like this, especially if you're cutting things out. And so this allows for airflow underneath and it actually comes with a metal plate 
that goes on the other side. So this will protect your work area as you're cutting. And really, if you're doing a lot of cutting, you'd set this up differently. This metal plate is removable and you would actually just put this directly onto your work surface. And then this honeycomb with these feet would sit on top of it just to give you a layer of air. So you have kind of airflow throughout the whole system. Because as you cut, that's another way to help with the charring and the buildup and the residue that's gonna come when you're cutting, especially wood. Now again, these honeycombs, you could always buy aftermarket. Since this one's coming directly from X-Tool, it's already sized to fit this work area. Plus it's got some rulers on the sides to give you a ballpark of where things are going to be. Okay, so how does the combination of the air assist as well as the honeycomb work bed affect your cutting? And the easiest way to show this is with this cutting test that I normally do. So this one right here is with the 10 watt module, but without an air assist. And I use this one a bunch to test the power of the laser module, especially when I'm comparing it between machines. Um, but you can see with this one, I mean, there's just a ton of charring, especially as you're getting higher and higher with the power. Now compare that to the one with air assist and I accidentally disconnected it, so that's why the numbers don't go all the way up. But all the cutting is done, and you can see that it is much, much cleaner. You're barely getting much charring at all on the actual cuts. Now the cuts look better, but it isn't quite as powerful as a raw laser. And again, that's just because you've got that air going straight into the laser beam, so you're losing some of the power. But the trade-off is you get a really clean cut. So you might have to cut a little bit slower, or you might have to do multiple passes, but you're gonna have a lot less cleanup work once you're done. And especially if you're using plywood, you always run the risk that you're going to kind of sand off this top layer, and then it's gonna look super ugly. So really, you might be saving time in the long run, even though it might take a little bit longer to cut. You're not gonna spend quite as much time cleaning it up once it's done. And another test I like to do is this power scale. And you can see you're gonna be able to run this really quick. So all the way up to 9,000 millimeters per minute. And you're gonna be able to get values even starting as low as 30% power. And then obviously pretty dark once you get all the way up to 100%. So if you're engraving pictures, you're really not gonna lose much power. You're just gonna have to adjust it a little bit when you're actually going to cutting. Now, if you actually wanna use this test file on your machine, there's a link down below in the description where you can check it. It out. Now really the one drawback for both of those upgrades is just the price. So right now the honeycomb bed is 120 bucks and the air assist is also 120 bucks. So when you add that 250 to the price of the Xtool D1 10 watt, you're gonna be a little over a thousand bucks. So you are definitely getting up there in terms of price, especially when you compare this to something like the Niji, which has a laser module, which is just as powerful. The build quality just overall isn't nearly as nice. But currently for the most part, laser diodes don't come with a honeycomb bed and they don't come with air assist. So that's gonna have to be a third party add-on that you're gonna have to do anyways. So if you're gonna go this route, you're gonna get one that works directly from the manufacturer. Now we've been talking about the Xtool D1. Let's actually jump into the original review of it to see if it's a good fit for you. Until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.